Good morning, Zio here. And today, today we talk about Tencent. You know, that company that owns all of Riot, that company. Anyway, this is going to be an interesting one. So uh, let's get into it, shall we? And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so now. Grab yourself some coffee, sit back, relax, and let's talk about Tencent. Um, let's see, you probably already know about the whole TikTok thing, right? And you might actually know about the tic, uh, Tencent thing, because uh, our current president has uh, decided to wage war against China. War loosely. Um, we've been raging that war now for a bit as sort of a, a commerce financial whatever war anyway aside from what you think about the president and all that good stuff <laughs> he is banning some or he's apparently banning some things through uh, executive order if i'm getting that correctly like tiktok which is an app that's already been banned by our military so if you're in the military you're not supposed to be using it um but they're also working on banning tencent which owns wechat um and um, that's that's kind of where it's at, right? Um, apparently, according to the executive order, the gaming branch of Tencent is sort of left unchecked from, um, you know, but it's only a matter of time. <laughs> it's Tencent. You've probably heard me talk about it in the past and several others in the past that, you know, Tencent is in our gaming market. And regardless of whether or not we love or hate Tencent and how they handle things and monetize stuff and other things, this could be a problem in the gaming sector, depending on how things play out. So, you know, if you, you want to look at a possible gaming crash in certain spots, this might be the way to do it. Now, we know that Tencent is a problem. We, we've always known that Tencent and the Chinese government, of course, is somewhat of a problem. Um, you know, uh, anyway, <laughs> but this kind of thing, when, when you got a company that is so entrenched in a lot of stuff, cutting it outright is not the best way to do it. Um, you, you just can't do that without causing a lot of major issues. But the United States is using national security as an excuse and using state power to oppress non-American businesses. Ministry uh, spokesman Wang Wenbu, Wenbin said during a press briefing um, accusing the United States of political manipulation and oppression. Okay, I think I've highlighted the wrong thing. <laughs> Anyway, um, that that was apparently them talking about us. But the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs on Friday said it firmly opposes the executive orders targeting WeChat and TikTok because I can't highlight things properly. Then that statement happened from uh, Wang uh, Wenbin. Wenbin? Is it Wenbin? I'm saying Wenbin. Anyway, uh, during a press release, uh, TikTok said it was shocked by Trump's order and warned that it sets a dangerous precedent for the concept of free expression and open markets. The company said it will pursue all remedies available to us, which is a funny thing to think about. By the way, if you haven't noticed or don't know, Facebook is looking to scoop up TikTok now. Um, yeah, you want to talk about a company that is totally against the free market or the open markets and free expression, there's your company to go deep diving into Facebook, um, Google, YouTube, Twitter, uh, also are, you know, fairly prevalent of all of that. Um, they definitely are against the free expression and open markets kind of thing because they will shut down just about anything that could even hint take out from them or take from them what they currently have. But uh, a Tencent spokes, uh, spokesperson, meanwhile, said the company is reviewing the executive order to get a full understanding, which, yeah, obviously they, they're going to. But uh, let's, let's break some things down real quick. You got the Chinese, um, the Chinese, right? The, uh, what is it, the CPP, uh, the Communist uh, whatever party. Um, anyway or the CCP, Chinese Communist Party. I, I can't 
think right now. When it comes to the Chinese, they have a hand in literally everything. You cannot do business over in Chinese markets without having a sponsorship essentially through a you know another company that is in the country, and then you know the um, uh, the Chinese you know governing party is allowed to access anything because over there you don't own what you own. No, um, the Chinese Communist Party owns what you have. Uh, so if you have a business like Tencent and they go, hey, Tencent, we want to see what you got, they can do that or they shut you down immediately. No if, ands, or buts about it, so they have to comply. There is no sense of freedom or free, freedom of expression, for that matter, over in China, regardless of how you think about it. That's why a lot of people like myself were so upset at the whole Blitz Chung incident with uh, Blizzard because they knee-jerked shutting him down and they still, still should not have banned him at all, should reverse that 100%, um, you know, because they're trying to do business in China and they can't anger the Chinese overlords. Um, so when you get somebody saying free, you know, freedom for Hong Kong or whatever, who happens to be a Hong Kong player or a player over in that area of the world, naturally Blizzard is going to shut that down real quick. You know, there's another company real quick right there, Blizzard working with Tencent. Um, you know, there, there is no free, it's, it's hilarious for one, <laughs> a ministry spokesperson to sit there and lecture the United States or anyone else in China about freedom of expression or open markets because that doesn't happen over there. That's not even a thing. Uh, political manipulation and oppression, that's, that's BS. Uh, the, the whole using national security as an excuse to use state power to oppress non-American businesses, also totally BS. I'm not going to get into the whole political debate about all this. Just know you're wrong. Okay, and um, we'll go on from there because that's bullshit and you know it. Um, anyway, we're not going to get into the riots or anything that have been going on for 60 plus days or nothing like that. We're talking about Tencent, right? So more than half of Tencent's revenue last year came from uh, value added services, which includes companies lucrative games portfolio, financial services and payment apps such as WeChat Pay uh, contributed about 25% of the revenue and just under 20% came from online advertising. Tencent operates popular mobile games, uh, gaming apps such as Player Unknown's Battleground and PUBG. US-based players spend a lot of money in PUBG. Well, that's true too. But um, let's just take a look at Tencent and what they do have here. Um, because apparently I, I can't get this fully over. So we're going to do this real quick. Boom. There we go. Or that's about as good as it gets. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, they're the full ownerships of Riot Games. They're the ones who do Valorant and League of Legends, of course. Full ownership of Norwegian publishers Funcom. Uh, full ownership of Swedish developers Shark Mob, founded in 2017 by ex Ubisoft developer, and fully acquainted by Tencent and to, or acquired by Tencent in 2019. 8% ownership in the New Zealand uh, company Grinding Game, or Gear Games, the developers of Path of Exile. About Approximately 85% ownership in the Finnish mobile gaming uh, developer Supercell, makers of Clash of Clans and Cl uh, Clash Royale. 40% ownership of American developers Epic Games, the developer of popular online games Fortnite. Let's see, 20% ownership of the Japanese publisher and developer Marvelous, which owns Gmod and the majority of Data Est. Um, intellectual properties, including uh, Burger Time, Joe and Mac, and uh, Magic Drop franchises. 8.6% ownership of the Chinese company I Dream, Ski, I Dream Sky, which mainly develops and uh, pushes mobile games for the Chinese market. 5% ownership of Chinese company Central uh, Hutong, which operates game development by Fun Plus. Tencent became a shareholder through an investment into Century uh, Hutan's uh, subsidiary, Shengu Games. 17.66% ownership of South Korean mobile developer uh, Net, Netmobile, Netmarble, 
Anyway, I can't read. Approximately 15% ownership of American mobile game developer Glue Mobile. 13.58 or 54% ownership of South Korean Kako. Um, Kao, Kao, Kao? Anyway, the parent company of South Korean publisher Kao Games. Uh, 9% ownership of UK developer uh, Frontier Developments. 5% ownership American holding company Activision Blizzard. The uh, parent company of Activision, Blizzard, and King. 5% uh, ownership of Swedish published developer Paradox Entertainment. That should be a name you know. Um, some of the, uh, several of these are probably games you, or names you know. Anyway, 5% ownership in French Ubisoft purchases and uh, Vinavidi follow uh, Vinavidi's uh, failed attempt to buy out Ubisoft in March 2018. <laughs> 1.5% ownership South Korean company Bluehole, the publisher of Players Unknown. Majority ownership in Sweden's based mobile game developer Miniclip, which I'm sure you definitely have seen that name. Uh, capital investment in Japanese developer Platinum Games. Minority share in German developer Jaeger Development. And Tencent has a lot of other hands in other places as well, from t TV, music, comics, video streamings, e-commerce, utilities, and other stuff. And this is just the gaming things, and not including social media and other things. If you want to go look at the wiki or whatnot, you should go do it. It's it's There's a lot there. But Tencent owns a huge chunk and is in its you know has gaming in its grasp in a lot of different locations it may not own a majority ownership of something like blizzard activision blizzard just at a five percent but activision blizzard has to play ball with tencent and give tencent anything they want if they want to do any kind of business in the chinese markets right and that's the problem there uh the whole crux of all of this of tencent getting banned is the whole spying thing right I don't know why I quote it that like that, because it, it's an actual thing that's happening, right? Mm. But see, the thing is, most everything does it, right? Facebook is spying on you. Google is spying on you. Um, YouTube is spying on you, which is Google, of course. You know, uh, all these things that you deal with, any app that you download on your phone, you know, um, Essentially, it's like, give us access to your contacts, give us access to your camera roll, give us access to, to this and that and this and that because they're monitoring it. Your, your data is their asset. You know, it, It's the thing that they want from you so they can sell it to whoever, uh, regardless of how they're going to be using it, whether they're just using it to see what kind of things you do or to use it for targeting marketing or other things. That, that's something that happens, and China is no different than that with their stuff, with the whole banning of... TikTok, which recently exploded over the past couple of years, you know, uh, and that does have something in it that's a little bit more concerning. I, I, I would uh, suggest going to looking at more videos on that, uh, particular specifically, because I, I can't, I don't have the stuff up right now to even attempt to get into that. But, uh, you know, Tencent, yeah, if this whole thing goes into the gaming side, it could be an alarming thing. Uh, do I think Tencent needs to be banned? No. Um, it's honestly a ridiculous thing. Uh, and, and the whole TikTok thing, I think, is a bit on the ridiculous side as well. But that's going to allow Facebook or Google or whoever wants to try and get in to fill that void now can actually do that. Um, I think there's actually some stuff out there where uh, Facebook is straight up just ripping TikToks everything at this point in time waiting for the hammer to drop so they can just slide on in there and go oh guys i heard tiktok was uh left you um we've got the exact same thing over here at facebook now you, you should check it out you'll feel right at home um yeah because companies like facebook and stuff they're 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 quite a bit of a problem when it comes to monopolies and other things like that if you want to sit there and break up big tech giants and stuff I would start looking at things like Facebook and Google <laughs> and breaking up their kind of hold and stuff like that. Um, but if Tencent itself gets banned, you know, it, on the gaming side of things, if we go beyond WeChat, what are the ramifications? Um, there's a lot. You've got 
full ownership of Riot Games? Are they going to drop Riot and say, okay, you guys can, you're no longer part of Tencent or whatnot. No, you lose League of Legends and Valorant right there. Um, you know, you lose anything that's a Riot product, right? Um, you know, anything that they have full ownership to, it's gone. It's off the gaming market, in my opinion, you know, because it's going to be banned. Um yeah, if somebody actually sits down and thinks out the order or whatever that causes the ban of these kind of things, you know, they're gone. Anything that's got like a, a small ownership or whatnot, that's going to be a, an interesting thing too. Is Blizz Activision Blizzard going to be like forced to buy back whatever shares that Tencent has at whatever price they ask because they now have to because China has been 100% banned from doing any kind of commerce with anything that's outside of China? that's an interesting thing to look at um you know could they afford to do that i don't know um you know what's that going to look like that's also going to kick these companies out of china as well which is something they don't want so you guarantee they're going to be lobbying for a better result on that front to get left alone uh you know we could lose path of exile uh because they own a huge chunk of grinding gear um you know, and anything that's supercell related, that probably will wind up getting banned off the app markets as well. Uh, you know, the yeah, I, I get it's a problem, right? But a straight up cut them straight out could be devastating for the gaming industry, or at least definitely on the mobile gaming industry side of things. But you know, a lot of really good franchises would be essentially unusable so how they go about doing it is a completely different thing so uh, let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below and i guess i'll talk to you later see ya hey thanks for watching don't forget to leave a comment smash that like button and always subscribe for more and of course there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy till then i'll see you later bye